But right now we're going to talk about girth and what is your preference? Leather, fluffy, memory foam girth, what's your preference? Is there any rules on hunters about girth? And this person, Katie, asked me, I don't know if there's any rules about girth, but I'm showing a circuit next year and I need to buy one for my boy. So, uh, Patricia, could you weigh in on the girth? And sure. I just well, wanted to know that. for moving up and if you are and good luck in your show efforts. Um, I'm not very judgmental as far as girths go. I'm a large R judge because I know it, a lot of it depends on the horse. You know, there are a lot of horses that have sensitive uh, girths and need a, a piece girth so that they don't get sores. You know, others might slip and need a neoprene girth. Um, the only thing I don't care for is a girth cover. I feel like if you need to cover your girth, you should just go ahead and buy it. Okay. So um, how about you, Randy? What's your feeling about girths? Well, girths, like the equi any equipment we use on a horse, is very important. Uh, Patricia's already talked about the rules regarding girths in the show rings and what's acceptable. I like a contoured girth, one that has an opening where the horse's elbows have that freedom. Mm -hmm. I also look at one that has stretchy pieces on them, whether it's a girth that has a four-way stretch or the elastic bands on both sides, because it allows the horse, especially when they're jumping, to expand their rib cage so they're comfortable instead of being held in tighter. Now, if you're doing the equitation class, you can pretty much pick, are the hunters, you can pick just about anything. If you have a horse that's wearing cocks on it, those are those little screws they put in the bottom of the shoes, I would recommend a girth that has a cock guard because if your horse is jumping and really tucks its legs up, it will stop jumping because it's hurting the bottom of its the front where the girth goes yeah. by putting it out with the cock. Those are quite common. Those belly girths are, are quite common in the jumpers. Everyone wears them because sometimes the horses cocks or not will will brush their bellies and it gives them some protection. Yeah, for sure. I know I had one a jumper that I had and uh, I thought, yeah, really? He's not really that great of a jumper that he needs. <laughs> one of those and then uh i took it off and looked at it yeah there's there's little nicks in there of course mm -hmm. so, excellent well what i did when i was asked this question i went to uh some of my friends on facebook judges and a trainer and i asked them this exact question and this question is from katie katie equestrian so she asked this on on youtube about the girths so I asked my friend Patty Downing Nygaard, who's a, a, a judge as well, and she said anything goes with her. She doesn't mind any type of girth. She said leather's always good, nothing too fluffy, and she doesn't mind girth covers either. So uh, that's what Patty said. And then I asked another uh, judge slash trainer, Robert Robold, and he says definitely fuzzy. I found that the neoprene tends to pull hair and promote tension. In his personal experience, that happens, and also leather rubs some of the thin-skinned horses. And there's nothing in the rule book. We just checked, actually. There's nothing in the rule book. And um, the, the bottom line is, judges really just want to see the horse jumping well. So if whatever you can afford, whatever you like, is great. So then I asked a trainer. Meredith Gallagher and uh, she says that she doesn't like fluffy. Leather is still used but she thinks the maintenance on the leather girth is difficult, hard to keep them soft and comfortable for the horse and they're expensive. So she uses something called pro-choice girth and I did get a picture of it. Just I, I think those it. have neoprene on the back. I just got a picture of it so you could see it. <laughs> There's the pro-choice girth. And, and I'm with Randy. I think it's so great that they put elastic on both sides now instead of just one. But I also have to caution people as I, I caution my students that you can't, it, it's the worst thing to pull it all the way up on one side and then gradually pull it all the way up on the other side. I mean, you should start with it equal and then raise one side, raise the other side, raise until they get you get it where you want. 
Now go use this stuff and go hug your horse. So we'll see you next week, okay? Bye. Bye. I'm just going to put this up here while I end the broadcast.